and uh, they're lining up against each other once again. Adelaide's got a bit of uh, superiority on this German line, all down on one knee, ready to break the pack. Only, uh, only three blockers for uh, MBR. Slight advantage, but big stack in the middle of the pack. Half the blockers from Adelaide go down. Doesn't matter though. No. Because Kit Kat stayed up, and she's the one in front, so that's the, one, the main key here. Pretty close, though. G unit's probably, what do you reckon, like a quarter of a track behind? And she's closing on her. She's really quick, this G unit. As the uh, blocker, they've got a full set of blockers on the uh, MBR. She didn't even touch the sides there. That was good. I think that's even points, perhaps, there. Oh yeah, it looks like little G unit also stole some points there. Yeah. So it's going to be... Okay, so we've got Fury uh, from uh, Adelaide. He's number 24 up against Brandy Snaps. Number 505 from NBR. Number 505. Looks like we've got a bit of a pocket rocket just against a powerhouse. Yeah. 24 has got a bit more size on her, but that's okay because girls that small are fast as. So 505 is going to want to look and pick a hole in this pack and fly on through. We'll see how she goes. Fury just steers the uh, steers the jammer into the pack, but it doesn't matter. Outside, look at that. Small but quick. You called it, Chief. You called it, mate. Oh, well, you know, you got to do it every now and then. You can't get it wrong all the time. <laughs> okay, Fury's made her way through the pack, but uh, it's just as... Four North Brisbane's way. Four points, and they're going to call it. Here we go. Uh, that uh, that Adelaide Broker just doing her best to maybe pop her into the suicide line. Yeah, last minute ditch there to try and take her out. You gotta love the last minute cheeky little. Oh yeah. Hey, hey? They, they know there's only a couple of seconds left here. They're gonna <laughs> give it all. So we've got number 88, the Philistine for the Adelaide. He's against number eight, Annabelle Lecter from North Brisbane. That North Brisbane's come out really quite good into the second half. They've got already about eight points on the board to two so far. ADID cracked their first hundred. So, but I reckon these scores are about to get a lot tighter. Um, a miss? <laughs> misinformed. I'm only, uh, I'm only slightly upset. That's fine. Um, yeah, sorry about that, misinformed. No, that's, don't use it now. Got a medical condition now. called uh, forgetfulness. <laughs> and, um, misinformed, misinformed, misinformed. There we go. I'm not going to forget now. It's beautiful. Okay, so Adelaide's just getting in there, having a little bit of a cuddle. Number eight here, Animal Rector from North Brisbane coming up against the Philistine. A lot of eights here on the jammer line. Uh, the uh, Adelaide missing one blocker as the uh, Northern Brisbane team drops a knee. Not right up against the jammer line though. No, giving kind of a bit of room to move. Yeah, getting spacious. <laughs> That's right, relaxing, kicking back. Yeah. I saw some mosquitoes the other lying down on the jammer line. There's been a little bit of that. Uh, I think it's they're just trying to get that position before the other yeah. side. They just Superman onto the track. Yeah. It's a real it's a real fight for that jammer line for the blockers because once they've got that position, you can't move them. You know, you sit there and you say, well, is it entertaining now that, you know, has it lost a bit of the entertainment factor because it's just starting straight away? But when you've got people supermanning onto the track, exactly. hard, to, hard to say that's not entertaining. I don't think what we'll do it could get boring. It just uh, this keeps getting more and more interesting, you know. people, Some people have a lot of mixed thoughts about this whole taking a knee on the jawline thing, but look, they're always going to find a way to skate as fast as they can and smash each other heaps. So, I mean, I don't, I don't see any problem. All bases are covered. All bases are covered. Looks like a team timeout here. That was the, uh, the Adelaide's call it. Oh, yeah, a bit quick conference. Having a bit of a chat with each other. There's not there's nodding happening, so it's not looking like it's too bad. It's a nod off. Take this opportunity to say that uh, Sin City Skates, the world's first roller derby skate shop, is also DNN's historic first sponsor. Check them out at sincityskates.com. Ah, uh, Sin City Skates, fantastic sponsor. And Hellcat Clothing, I just saw come up on the screen over there. So it looks like we've got a few running around. but we'll see. Uh, this Adelaide fans, I tell you what, they are some of the most supportive fans I, I think I've ever seen. There's massive amounts of them. I don't know if you can see that, but there's so many red shirts out there and horns. It's doing a good job as well just to relax the uh, the girls that are on the track. Yeah. 
which is uh, which is what we like. So the Philistine and Anna Belecta lining up. Here we go. 28 minutes left in this second half. 47 points the difference. Anna Belecta looking like a caged cat right now. She sure is. But she's a big cat and she's probably going to push her way through. Uh, uh, no. Oh, we her. She's down. She's, she's gone. It's not an injury, it's a bit of a sleep. She's down. Phil's jumped on top. Yeah. <laughs> Seems as though lying down is the only thing that these commentators can talk about, both in-house and online. All of us trying to, uh, to do it as smoothly as possible <laughs> and uh, just avoid the pitfalls that uh, might be the obvious choice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I find myself sometimes roaring into a bit of a conversation. I get about halfway through and stumble over the last few words. I'm like, oh, and uh, how Where are we you? At? Yeah. <laughs> I knew where I started. I knew where I was going, but I couldn't stop myself. Yeah, yeah. That's all right. We're only human. <laughs> and this is roller derby. Yeah. Of course. She's really uh, just really taking it down now, getting guts. Really conserving the energy there. So we've got, oh, here we go. We've got the dancing happening from the Adelaides. Yeah. They've been known for their, their single ladies, Adelaides dance. Johnny Pistol is a Barbie doll. Here we go. They're going uh, to line it up now. So Philistine up against Anna Belecta. I think it's actually going to happen this time. I think it might do. You know what I mean? Like, we've been waiting so long. There's yeah. just so much pressure on it. Oh. Here we go. The and finally, Anna Belecta gets a chance to get out of her cage. Not like an a cage animal she was out there. Not an anticlimax at all as she gets through. <laughs> Philistine still fighting. Oh, sent off. Yes. Philistine. One jammer on this track. Pop yourself in the naughty corner. Look, I may be wrong, but this could be the beginning of one of the best comebacks in the game. Ever. Ever. Except for the last one. <laughs> and the next one. <laughs> So she's entering the pack. She slipped throughout the first time quite easily. Let's see if she can do it again. No, they're, they're fighting hard. And a left up, putting some more points on the board. Eating the flesh of the Adelaidean team. Here they go. One more time. She comes bam, around. Bam, bam. These girls are four four points, straight four through. Points, points. Only three of them there. So much for gaps. And that's the end. 22 points, the difference. It's, you, you know what? You called it, mate. I know, you I know. You it. You're a guru. That's what we're here for, Miss and Fran, to call the action. <laughs> Perhaps not as psychically as I'm giving it a roll now, but... Yeah. I only get so we've got number 42 from the Northern Brisbane Rollers, Trauma Junkie. Trauma Junkie, only jammer on this track. Adelaide staring in from the penalty box. And uh, we've got one of the jammers off as well, the Adelaide, so not looking too good. Trauma Junkie, she's through. That's right. This pack not going anywhere. Wanting to hold it back. So Trauma Junkie about to inflict some pain. This could be this could be exactly what they needed though the uh, the NBR girls. I think so. The momentum on these NBR girls is quite good. Oh, solid blocking. They're not going to want to continue blocking. Blocking out of play. No. Okay. Oh, here we go. We've got our jammer for Adelaide on the track now. Adelaide. Trying to force her way through. Yeah, not, that, not having too much luck there. Lena Pax still on her. Stacks it takes out an umpire on the way through. North Brisbane definitely converting these points. And Take we've lost game. another jammer for uh, Adelaide. No. Is it? No, another blocker, sorry. That's all right. The Adelaide jammer still yet to break through for her initial pass. Three points coming on here for North Brisbane Rollers. I shouldn't say three points. They're working very hard and closing this gap with amazing um, stuff. Good use of words. Solid pack there. Trauma junkie fighting through getting a block from Philistine as well as the uh, Adelaide Pack reforms oh, and Philistine off oh, again oh, mate what are you doing oh, I can sense some punishment coming on her as well and the Northern Brisbane uh, fans are really starting to get into this now they're going to capitalise on this 
Adelaide's uh, gonna be quiet. Bush trying to push her away on the inside. Is it gonna happen? Bush is just not giving an inch though. That's yeah. pretty sad. 14 seconds left on this jump And she calls it. 102 to 100. Oh Lord, it is now game on. Uh, people who sell nail clippers are gonna be very disappointed because everyone's nails are nibbled all the way back to the bone here. I'm so excited. I know it was a big analogy. I'm glad you all <laughs> stuck with me to the end there. I waited, I waited. I knew it was coming, mate. I knew it was coming. We've got a little G unit uh, lining up, the uh, little speed house. Yeah. I think we've discovered quite the little speed house. We've got uh, one, one blocker. Adelaide going to really want to stop the momentum of this North Brisbane team. Look, North Brisbane came back in their last game. And they're just not a team that's going to lay down and die. They lay down, have a little break, get back up, and then score a crap load of points. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is definitely a tactic that I'm going to start implementing in my daily life. They're shimmying it out now. They're really starting to feel it. Yeah. Okay, so we've got uh, three of the blockers from Adelaide lining up. Annabelle Lecter looks... Tiger Tantrum, the blocker from Northern Brisbane, just taking the wide leg stance there before she drops a knee. Little G unit assessing her options before she starts as the only jammer in this jam. She's got a bit of a thinker's pose. Yeah, she has. Here she goes, so two points in it, we're about to kick it off. The, uh, the pivot for Adelaide about to join the track again. She's standing up, she's ready for it. Yeah, both those Adelaide players just standing there, ready to jump in. Don't you know it's cool to pee your pants? What are they on about over there on the live commentating? Talking about peeing your pants. That's okay because Adelaide is starting to pee their pants. Absolutely, she is throwing Lee Jammer skating hard as the pack reforms with Big Red Wall. I think we're about to see a change of lead. I tell you what though, those blockers are just not giving her an inch. She's dropping it. An inch. And again, oh, big block. Massive block. Yeah, fair enough, off yeah. your pop after that one. Uh, looked a little bit silly <laughs> under the missing <laughs> Okay, so we've lost the pivot again from Adelaide, and she is not happy with herself. That's Mosquito that number 33. So Damn, I think that was the time. Here comes the point. They've just taken the lead. North Brisbane now in charge of this game. Philistine has uh, just broken through the pack. This is a very exciting little G unit rolling into the pack now. Big stack from... Uh, one of the Adelaide players. The points calls it off. There it is. They there are going to be happy with that mission for them. They've Chief. just taken the lead. Chief intent. Can you feel it? 23 seconds left. I'm starting to get a bit nervous. Oh, look, I'd be nervous if I was from Adelaide. But still, absolutely anyone's game. And I really mean it this time. I'm not just trying to beef up the underdog. Potentially might be picking favourites. Uh, Brandy Snaps, 505 for the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Another little pocket rocket up against Fury, number 24 from Adelaide. Yeah. More of the uh, brute force style of skater there. Yeah, and, and it's a good option bringing her in right now and maybe blocking the other jammer. Absolutely, see if we can get some. Oh, but she takes the outside line. They get her stuck in there. Good blocking from Northern Brisbane. Great teamwork, making a little hole there so that they're quick as Jammer can sneak around the side. Big block from the Northern Brisbane girls holding Fury back. This crowd is so electric right now, you could plug them in and power half the city. It's a small town. Yeah, exactly. So uh, here we go. The, uh, and there's that wall of red. That Adelaide, they're fighting hard, but still, Fury <laughs> not getting through the pack. Both of the both both teams' blockers doing amazing uh, yeah. work. Bam Bam Palau just doing her best to push Brandy Snaps out. Uh, well, hard cut track because the blocker fell. Okay, number five from Northern Brisbane. Oh hell no, has uh, re-entered after a solid blocking effort. Yeah, she's gonna want to do some damage. And straight in there, she's just gone straight up and caused a bit of damage straight off the bat. As we've lost another one of the Northern Brisbane blockers to the Sindin. 
calls it. That was a massive, massive jam. It was huge. Couldn't have come at a better time either. Separating that split up there, 102 to 116. Now 14 points in the lead for North Brisbane. We've got a little G unit from Northern Brisbane up against Kit Kat Crunch, two of the most used jammers this bout. Yeah. And um, if you just come back from the toilet and you saw Adelaide was winning, well, I bet you wish you'd waited because they're not anymore. North Brisbane are in charge. Next time, just take your laptop into the toot with you. That's right. Or a colostomy bag or whatever you need to keep this phone going. No one needs to know. The secret is yours. <laughs> okay, it's Northern Brisbane through with Lee Jammer position. A little Jew unit. Again, uh, Adelaide being held up. Holding back that block of there so they can really split that pack up. Being told to reform. North Brisbane. It's all going their way right now. Momentum is definitely in. Oh, we oh, have no. Ralph again. The jammer sitting in the sin bin. Kit Kat crunch. Kit Kat like we said, the breaks. Early on in the day, this game, these games getting won and lost in the sin bin. Oh, uh, yeah. I've seen a lot of this happening this weekend. Adelaide really needs to just recoup. Yep. Give themselves permission to shine, you know. Yeah, look, if I was Adelaide, I'd be having a timeout, I reckon. Yeah, absolutely. Have a timeout, break this momentum up and come back out with force. Because that's a grand slam for Little G Unit right there. And we've lost another Adelaide blocker. They have just really been shaken. Good. Ching, here comes another fight. Oh, no. oh, 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 some solid blocking from two Adelaide blockers. Absolutely giving yeah. it to her. Yeah. There we go, another final award. She's uh, she's looking like she kind of felt that a little bit though, little G unit looking at her uh, looking at her team, seeing if she can call it off. They're not giving her the heads up, saying so go back in there, mate. Yeah, Give it another crack. Look, Adelaide aren't, aren't any horses here. Oh, and she's off. Oh no. Okay, but we've lost yet another Adelaide blocker. So really, just doing it. One for one. There's only one, one pack on here. Look at that North Brisbane pack just surround that Adelaide player. Takes off. Kit Kat Crunch enters now. It's moving fast. Kit Kat wants these points. Brisbane not takes letting the, go. Takes the inside track. Skips over one of the blockers. Tries for that inside track again. And forces all the way through. There she goes. Ah, great work. No points though, and she is not happy about it. She's right. saying that she's already done a pass and he's not getting any points. A uh, quick conference, no, one of the bench coaches shaking her head. Apparently no first pass was made. Okay, time out being time out. called. Quick conference. Dave the umpire made, made a little bit of a whoopsie. Yeah, you don't want to stuff it up at this juncture. These points can be very crucial. Absolutely. So here we go, having a bit of a chat about it. Bit of a powwow. The uh, timeout ref there showing off her muscles. Timeout much needed anyway, though. Uh, I think for Adelaide, just to have a little bit of a stop, focus, look yeah. at yourself. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to be uh, really uh, happy now. They didn't have to use a timeout, so they can have a bit of a powwow, a bit of a relax. Snap back into action as soon as this game takes back off. 18 minutes, 45 seconds left in this game. And 29 points the difference. 102 to 131, North Brisbane in the lead. And uh, the North Brisbane Jammer sitting in the sin bin. So uh, we're at a pretty crucial time, I'd have to say, Chief, in this game. Yep. Oh, uh, look at that. How Adelaide side there, gonna have, realizing they're going to have to come and take, not come and take, yell a little louder so the Adelaide girls hear and feel their support. Okay, singing the uh, It's Raining Wren song. <laughs> And the officials are just working out. You don't need the right key, just need enthusiasm. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? That's how we roll in Adelaide. Like this, you need to be spot on with everything. You don't want to make a mistake. Here we go. Adelaide in the uh, in the bin looking very focused. It's Rain in their box. Is what they're Trixie Beltham, uh, the, uh, the the blocker from Adelaide standing up in the sin bin, looking like she might be ready to join back in. She's had yeah. a bit of a good behaviour. Yeah, she's done her time and she's uh, ready to come out. Let's see if that made it onto the points. Did that make it onto the board, those, uh, those four points that uh, Kit Kat felt she got? I don't know. Renegade. Maybe, they, maybe they just, the rest just stayed how it was. 
Renegade is definitely a top choice. Okay, so Blue Renegade here in a power jam situation. Just Only two the Adelaide the blockers the on the track. I didn't catch anything in and then some very, very solid looking blockers from Northern <laughs> Brisbane. Yeah, they are looking ready to <laughs> shut these Adelaide girls down. Ominous, mate. That is ominous. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it looks like we are down to one <laughs> blocker from Adelaide. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, As if they didn't already have this that table stacked on them already. So, Blue Ren. Uh, Four to one. Let's hope this one blocker is absolutely amazing. It's uh, it's Philistine, one of our one of our jammers, uh, playing it a bit both sides. Oh, maybe they're planning on switching the star. Who knows? Wonderful water falling there. Okay, so we've got uh, we've got one of the blockers back from Adelaide as uh, Blue Wren still fighting through this very fast pack. Big hit from Oh Hell No. Great use of it, yeah. Oh, and a big stack up the back. And uh, there we go. She's there. She goes. She's in lead jammer position. Lead jammer call to Adelaide. Philistine sent off from Adelaide. And see you later, Philistine. Okay, Trixie Belton, the only blocker from Adelaide. Do your bit, little G unit. <laughs> She's not waiting for support. <laughs> and little G unit is through now. So this uh, power jam situation's over and not many points out of that, mate. You've got to be a bit disappointed. Uh, North Brisbane doing very well to contain that jammer during the power jam scenario. Adelaide's just got to keep their girls on the track and out of the sin bin. It's the tension. The tension gets there and they start doing, you know, more over-exaggerated things. That's when all the penalties start coming out. Okay, so they call an end to the jam. Blue Wren. Blue Renegade calling it. Let's see what uh, the score's looking like now. Okay, it is 105 to 13. Adelaide's had the advantage to 1-3-3, so that, uh, that's not looking good. No, no, not looking good at for Adelaide that at was all. A perfect chance for Adelaide to make some much needed points, and uh, they kind of dropped the ball a little bit. So we've got Fury lining up from uh, Adelaide up against Annabelle Lecter from, uh, from Northern Brisbane, number eight. That's all right, there's still only 28 points in it, so Adelaide are not lost in any way, shape or form. I'll tell you what we didn't need, we didn't need Lee Jammer to go to NBR just like it did there. Yeah, so. yeah that's not really necessarily a good sign. Oh, big solid block, that was a wall that you couldn't even get through there. Oh, uh, look, the way that these dirty girls connect up together and just make an impenetrable wall is so good. In between, both these teams are doing it. Okay, so here we go. We've got Kit Kat Crunch back. I haven't seen her for a little while. Yeah, it's been sitting in the penalty box for a bit. Yeah, no, she was really good in there. Did yeah. some, of her, some of her best work, her upset face quite I think, well. I think that's a, she's really well suited, actually, to the penalty box. We've got uh, Brandy Snaps, 505 from uh, Northern Brisbane. Especially on the line, the We've got them uh, dropping, our ladies dropping a knee, but still a bit of a roll into it. Oh, big smash. They kind of just sandwiched her, but she popped out the other end. Yeah. So Lee Jammer position, and uh, this looks like it might be getting away from Adelaide. Adelaide really needs to focus and uh, get this stuff together. North Brisbane definitely rolling with a whole lot of confidence right now. Just converting everything. Adelaide looking a bit shaky, but look, as far as I'm concerned, Adelaide are in a great position still to uh, return back here as the underdog and come back. They've got uh, 15 minutes left on the clock to, uh, to do it, so uh, let's see if we can uh, blue renegade up against little G unit. Hopefully they haven't left, they come back too late. Yeah. Well, they've still got three timeouts and two timeouts going on here, so both teams have got a little bit of an ace up the sleeve and they want to recollect their thoughts. I think, uh, I think Brisbane timed their comeback really well. Oh, that was great timing, yeah. Adelaide might be leaving it just a touch late. Let's hope not. Let's hope that they can get back in and make a... Oh, solid block and little G unit goes Here down. comes Adelaide. Oh, there we go. Straight bit of a sack. Here she goes. She's through and she is Lee Jammer as we lose one of the uh, blockers <laughs> from NPR. Crowd making some noise. Adelaide really seems like they've got their, their stuff together again. They're blocking really hard. This G unit has not been able to make it through yet. She tries the defensive, but doesn't work. Blue Renegade doing a little bit of a spin. Uh, having to turn around and get right in back behind the jammer that knocked her, the blocker that knocked her out. 
And again, so this blocker, just this one single blocker, yeah. doing amazing work. Meanwhile, Adelaide is holding up the uh, little G unit from uh, MBR, still struggling. Oh, big hit. Here comes some points for Adelaide. Brisbane centre. Oh, it's a North Brisbane jammer. This is going to be a great opportunity for Adelaide in the start of the next jam. They've got one blocker on the bench, one jammer. Is she, is she going into the penalty box? What is she doing? She's not really sure what's happening oh, to her. Put that hat back on and have a seat, lady. Oh, look, and that wasn't a happy, that wasn't, that wasn't a happy penny put back on. No, these refs are not in the business of making people happy. And it's hard and fast rules delivery here. So we've got uh, Kit Kat Crunch lining up now in this Power Jam situation and uh, it's pretty much he's going to sit that full term off, so good chance. They're really going to want to take opportunity now. They can't afford to waste any more of these opportunities. Um, they're having a quick conference to see how they best can maximise this chance, I'm sure. Taking Sneaker Streaker off. A cuddle huddle. A cuddle huddle. <laughs> this is really quite interesting having two sets of commentators. Absolutely. Well, <laughs> tuning in, it's a, it's a hard thing. Yeah. It'd be nice if we could block them out, but that's just not going to happen. We're sitting right next to a speaker. Um, and it's not even a subtle speaker. It's actually five baby speakers yeah. basically duct taped together. Yeah. Right at our face. <laughs> We are, we are very lucky if we're um, listening, but unfortunately we're talking. So I hope it comes through all right for you people at home and you can hear us all right. Okay, so here we go. Girls lining up, a little bit of another timeout happening. Power wow, almost to its end. If you are listening, uh, looks like, oh, hang on, looks like we're about to start. Uh, timeout official has left the track. And okay, here we go. Over, and we had a kick Kit Kat, she's uh, focusing. Jam. She's got a yeah. little focus on. Power Jam time. Adelaide's getting behind her. Yeah. See if we can make this magic happen. And yeah, she's... Oh, so yeah, blocking. Yeah, she looked yeah. like she had it, but then... Oh, hell no. Oh, she's going to get blocking out of play. See you later, Pivot. No, just time to come back. Just told to pop on. Oh, no. Kit Kat oh, that off. Jammer. Again, this is, there we go, look at that, that's, that hurt. That would have definitely been not part of the plan. That hurt. Unless it's a false confidence sort of thing. Um, oh, oh, and now she's back. Straight back out. What happened there? Obviously, she, she wasn't popular with the girls in the um, penalty box because they just kicked her out of the elite class. Oh. Now she's uh, now it's a back block. Send in, send out, make up their mind. This is just every time they get a chance, they just do something yeah. to mess it up. Now the Brisbane Jammer getting to her feet. Seems like it might be Adelaide's game to lose. Not to <laughs> well, look, it's a high pressure situation. It's the bronze trial. Both these teams are playing fantastically. So Absolutely. I mean, I don't think it's going to be any losers here regardless. Here we go, and she's through. Yeah. Little G unit. She's having a great game, little G unit. Everyone back in Brisbane should be absolutely stoked for her performance today. And she's copped it quite hard from some of those Adelaide blockers, and she oh, just she only keeps bouncing only back. Little. She gets knocked around a bit, but she stays on her skates. Really trying to put the nails on the coffin here, but 12 minutes left on the clock. Okay, so fighting hard, Adelaide block has just got her on the outside. Adelaide doing great to hold her up. She's having a really hard time. Oh, big solid block there. The, uh, the Northern Brisbane girls wanting to get involved, but wanting to hold the pack back. They're a bit torn. Yeah. Adelaide doing some solid blocking, and Kit Kat is up on her feet. Hats off to Adelaide in the last little bit of that jam. They really contained that jam up. That was solid, and they are pretty tough with themselves. Uh, and their crowd did not have that go unnoticed. They're cheering on their blockers there. Okay, Brandy Snaps, the little powerhouse, number yeah. 505 lining up. We've got Kit Kat Crunch standing up, ready to join in very shortly. 
Marine they're going to want to make sure there's no the gaps for this little spinny pocket rock to flick through. There is uh, 11 minutes left in this second half. It is 1-1-2 one, one, Adelaide versus 148 NBR. 36 points the difference. We've seen uh, we've seen comebacks very fast happen. Yeah, these games can flick back and forth so quickly. Kit Kats is right back in there. Two jammers now on this track. And it is a very thick pack. Seeing who's going to pop through the other end. It looks like it could be Kit Kat, but no, it's the NBI skater. She's got a swear on her face. Out of nowhere. Kit Kat Crunch. Rocketed up the inside. Dropping to her knees, really fighting. She's being held back by those uh, by those skaters as Brandy Snaps enters the pack now. Brandy keeps super low to the ground. She's got to be hard to hit. Okay, Kit Kat Crunch has finally made it through the pack. They've lost one of their blockers from MBR. Not sure it's going to make too much of a difference. Uh, they've reformed her on the front of that jammer there. She's, is she going to... She's through Yeah, smart move. Uh, hopefully she got those four points there just before calling that off. Okay, so we've got the Philistine lining up as the uh, as the jammer for Adelaide. Yeah. Number 88 to number 41. Little G unit back to show them how it's done again. Uh, well, look, when she's doing so well, why would you take her off? Exactly. She doesn't look that tired. Okay, okay here we go. It is the Adelaide's. Oh, Nicely being knocked there, out. Oh, Takes so a bit of a hit, but she shoots out the back, and <laughs> both those jammers are on. Oh, 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 solid jamming oh, happening by Phyllis. No, no, not Adelaide, Brisbane. So she's going to skate around. She's going to wait. Yeah, just run it out, run the clock down a little bit, and, and then call it. There we go. Good play there by Lil G unit, taking her time and calling it off. So we've got 150 total to Northern Brisbane and Adelaide on 112, under 10 minutes left in this second half of the bronze Eight final. minutes left, 40 points, the difference, that means, what, five points every minute? Yeah. Yeah, a ish, ish roundabouts. Brandy Snaps lining up against Fury. So uh, we've got uh, three, two blockers off from Northern Northern Brisbane, one blocker off from Adelaide. That bench looks pretty full. Uh, sorry, the penalty box looks very full there. It is. It's been a busy box. It has. A lot of ingoings and outgoings into that penalty box. A massive struggle here to try and get at the front of this pack. Granny Snaps being held back by the Adelaide blockers. Fury being held back by the Northern Brisbane blockers. Great little tap there. Cut track for the jammer. Mm. Nope, Lee jammer position for Brandy Snaps. Meanwhile, Fury's just got her way through the pack finally. Yeah, Brandy Snaps in that perfect position here, keeping an eye on the Adelaide jammer. And she calls it. Sets herself a few points and calls it. Very smart, very smart. Just taking those points and calling it off. And of Alexa lining up for the uh, for the Brisbane team. We've also got uh, oh, it's the eights and the eights again. We've got Philistine uh, number 88 from uh, the other ladies. And eight, number eight has been recently voted the most popular number by uh, many music world. <laughs> we didn't tell you the polls, but um, we both agree. It was close. Yeah. It was close. But seven, uh, seven was right up there. It's, I like the way the seven rolls back in from the top. But eight, I mean, eight's pretty good. It's got two circles on the side. It's kind of like, like infinity. It is. Yeah. It is. You speak by now. Okay, so it looks like another timeout has been called. We'll uh, take this uh, opportunity to have a chat about Rollercon. Rollercon uh, down under featuring on and off skates, athletic training, seminars, workshops, social events, and lots of bouts. Just mm. lots of bouts. Oh, yeah. Is this the first Rollercon that's coming? Yeah. I'm not sure. I don't know if there's been one before. But uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. 42 points in it. Adelaide's needing all the love they can get. Yeah, it is the first uh, first Australian Rollercon, so yeah. Rollercon down under. Tickets go on sale July 1st. Remember when you wish you got that US MVP pass early, right? Because they will sell out. Uh, it's great to see so much good stuff coming to Australia. It's a massive growth industry right now, Roller Derby. We had, uh, had Comic-Con in, uh, in the building just one over. Oh, nice. 
while the roller derby was going on, there was a lot of confused people. Oh, yeah. A lot of costumes. <laughs> a lot of tough chicks and wussy guys. Not saying that if you like comics, you're wussy, but... Um, Let's just be honest, more people got laid at roller derby <laughs> than the con. <laughs> Looks like we're going to all the uh, Comic-Con fans turning around seeing all the girls were so stunned that so many women have turned up. Massive growth in the street comic books. <laughs> number 88 versus 8, the most popular number on the track right now. As voted by your commentators. <laughs> That's right. Adelaide, hurry for that lead jammer position. It's not looking... Very messy pack. This is just going oh. crazy. Girls flying everywhere. Blue yeah, Renegade tried to hold her oh, back, but she, oh, not Lee Gemma position to Annabelle Lecter. That means it's open for Adelaide if she can push her way through without a minor. And it looks like the Adelaide is going to bust through. North Brisbane holding back Adelaide's Gemma. This our hell no blocker is amazing. She's yeah. an absolute force. She's a powerhouse. Real asset to North Brisbane. Nudge, nudge, nudge. Well, See you later, Jammer. I'm going to skate back and make you come around me. That was a cut track there for the Jammer. Ah, oh, Philistine yeah, being that. sent off. Probably the worst thing that could have happened right now. She didn't get behind that. Uh, yeah, a sign for a comet coming down and smashing this building to pieces. That was. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh, Brisbane being sent off as well. Things aren't oh. seeming so bad. We can. We can uh, yeah, I'm misinformed. No one's going to spend too much time in the penalty box here. Maybe what, three, four seconds? Annabelle Lecter just uh, slowing down. Bit of confusion. Taking it. Oh, no, really? 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 Uh, that Adelaide <laughs> is not happy. The fans are angry. Timeout. Oh, pack for me. Dude, really? Massive call out from the crowd. Where's the jammer? Okay, being told to sit down and now. Like Way to make yourself a crowd favourite there, Annabelle Lecter. <laughs> 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 Annabelle Lecter. <laughs> unhappy fans. Okay, five minutes left. You need to play with your head. If you were okay, so Fury lining up as the uh, as the jammer in this power jam situation. Let's hope she makes it count. Yeah, because now we've got 42 points separating these two teams. And uh, only five official. minutes and ten seconds left to do anything about it. And uh, that's an official timeout. Official five timeout minutes. being called. Timeout judge Run indicating she once caught a fish this big. With an lady. <laughs> <Power> <laughs> jam. Absolutely. We've got uh, Riddell Skates handmade by expert uh, craftsmen in the USA for over 65 years. Riddell Skates defining the concept of fit for over 65 years. I know quite a lot of girls go for those riders. They are very expensive but definitely worth it. Uh, handmade skates, you can't argue with it. And they just make you feel pretty. Oh, yeah. So uh, I want to make sure that uh, if you are tuning in and you're listening into this and you want to uh, get the lowdown from all the other bouts and stuff that have happened at the moment, make sure that you check out the... Um, uh, the after the after the after interviews that are going to be happening uh, on yeah. Channel One. Yeah. And um, if you're not already a member of DNN, make sure you sign up because then you can watch all the games that have happened. There's been like six, seven absolutely monster games at this TGSS, and if you missed them, you don't want to. Go yeah, back and I get getting bored. Some of the most exciting derby you will ever see. Oh, definitely. Every time I turn my back, there's another nail biter and everyone's screaming down the house. It's, it's seriously one of the greatest events I've been to. Yeah, your back's been turned for a while. <laughs> okay, so Fury just having a bit of a chat with her uh, her blockers, just sussing some stuff out. Here we go, power jam situation. All right, can they take advantage of it? They are all over her like a rash. Trying to push her way through Adelaide, trying to hold the uh, the pack back. Hats off to these North Brisbane defenders. Okay, she's through. Here we go, first pass. Time to punish these North Brisbane teams. Do it. Oh. Oh, punishing itself a bit with that one. Back blocking. <laughs> bye bye. Really? Come on, girls. All right, so. Seeing an all too familiar series of penalties coming from Adelaide. A lot of black block, back blocking. And if you don't turn and throw, she is not Lee Gemma, so she just has to skate through. We've lost two blockers from Adelaide there, so five. We've got one Gemma, oh, and one blocker right. from Adelaide. North Brisbane are definitely not going to be unhappy about what's going on. I know there was a double negative, but what it means is they're going to be stoked because now it comes time to separate this scoreboard. 
four minutes left on the, uh, on the, uh, are you going to call it? Are you going to call it? Do you think it might be slipping away? Yeah, yeah I'm going to get off the fence and finally uh, get into my uh, winning position. <laughs> Five minutes, Chief. Five minutes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now that I'm pretty sure that North Brisbane may or may not win, I'm going to back for them. Go, North Brisbane. Go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so a grand slam there for Anna Belekta, the uh, the crowd favourite. Uh, I'm just going to... One block for a base. Oh, just... Kogan <laughs> <laughs> Fiasco doing it. One on one style. Just a chest. <laughs> That's awesome. Holding her up just in front of the Adelaide oh, fan base. Oh, here we go, Fury joining in. Inspirational blocking. And just there she oh, goes, that was, that was impressive. Just to show that. And Gabby Fiasco gets set up at the end of it. Ladies, really going into defensive mode. What amazing Sitting athlete. herself in the penalty box, but yeah. just, she should be proud of if herself. If there was ever a penalty that was worth it, it was definitely that. That was a world of awesome. I'm yeah. throwing it out there. Yeah. No, look, I'm right behind you, Miss Inform. That was a world of awesome. And uh, uh, Anna having a little bit of a snack race, picking up the... Uh, this crowd is in for a massive treat right now. Got to love it when a ref falls over. Penultimate. Uh, yeah. yeah, it is penultimate. It was, it's the best. <laughs> and he was feet first as well. It's been a, it's been a theme that's, uh, that's run through. Yeah. And I'm sure you will all okay, so we've got little G unit lining up against Trixie Belton. Trixie Belton was uh, Adelaide's only skater to make it to the Australian team. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, good on her. She must yeah. be pretty good. She's doing all right. She's doing all right. That's good. Good. So here we go. I think the track's almost fixed. Oh, yeah. These Adelaide fans. fans. Adelaide fans taking opportunity of this timeout to have a bit of a boogie. And uh, I will just say that uh, one of the unsung heroes is uh, is Gaffer Tape. Yeah. Gaffer Tape, really. Gaffer Tape's the real winner here today. <laughs> Gaffer Tape is the real winner. Although Holding at, strong. At the start of the uh, whole tournament, I did see Gaffer Tape becoming a little unstuck, but uh, they've now reaffirmed their position and <laughs> seemingly keeping it together. With such a strong Adelaide team in that first half. 115, 179, 2 minutes, 49 seconds. I'm going to take it's anyone's game off the table right now. Um, I, I will not be saying that again for the rest of the game. But you know what? No one's given up yet in this tournament, and I can guarantee you Adelaide will not be the first. A strong bunch of competitors that plan on going nowhere till the siren is Blown. And big word up to the fans who are just hanging in there viciously to the very end. None of this, my team's losing, I'm going to get a donut kind of yeah, business. Look, I know a lot of commentators say that it's the best crowd ever, but I'm not lying when I say this is the best crowd today. And um, it's best, definitely the best crowd in the room. Here comes North Brisbane! Lee Jammer position. God, she's skating fast and hard. Look at that. Little G unit, of course. Yeah. She's having a game of her life. She should be proud. Parents of little Jimmy. Oh, oh no. Trixie Beltham, off your pop. Oh, no. Trixie Beltham. A lot of confusion over here in the penalty box. See you later, Trixie. That's a little bit, a bit of a theme. bit of a theme. It's it been is. that and front skates. Yeah, just, really, a lot of penalties. Just kicking it in. Yeah, right. Us losing jammers. Yeah. The ladies using, losing jammers to the penalty. So it's definitely hard to get points on the board when you don't have a score out there. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, uh, maybe they'll just reassess that one for yeah. the next TGSS. Yeah. Item number one, put jammer on track. Item number two, win. <laughs> get more points <laughs> than the other team. Yeah, exactly. Some sound advice here from the commentator's brief. Although North Brisbane don't seem to need it, stretching out that lead. Oh, okay, so they're two points off for getting oh, that 200. Almost a double ton. Let's see if that can happen. What a great bronze final that you guys have been treated to today. We've been treated to today. Fans have been treated to today. Adelaide not so treated. <laughs> but North Brisbane... Really working hard and deserving what's happening here right now. Oh. 
Some big hits from blockers from both teams there. Yeah. Another grand slam. So there it is. That's the 200. There's the double ton. Donald Bradman himself going the double ton. He's a cricketer if you're from overseas, and he's dead. So don't worry about congratulating him. He was an Adelaide, though. Yeah. He was an Adelaide guy. Less than one minute left so uh, on the bout clock, so we've got this one last jam. Yeah. One more jam. One more game? One more game. we got 34 seconds left. Let's fit a whole game in. <laughs> And what do you do on the DNN desk? Well, you heckle the commentators that yeah. are doing live commentary. That's they what you do. They can't hear us. <laughs> Look at that haircut. What an <laughs> abomination. <laughs> no, really, they're fantastic. <laughs> Almost another slip there, Chief. Yeah, I know. Here we go. Brandy Snaps, number 505 from uh, for Northern Brisbane Rollers. Lining up. Bone Shaker. Last time of this game. They've saved Bone Shaker till the end, yep. Adelaide. Yep, they're not going to give up. <laughs> We've got one blocker on the track uh, for Adelaide. Last jam, two minutes left. The time on the game clock has stopped, but the jam clock isn't. Jam clock supersedes the, uh, the back clock. That's right, North Brisbane got all the time in the world to do whatever they like now. <laughs> Solid blocking from Adelaide, but Northern Brisbane doing some great blocking as well. If you're in North Brisbane. Oh, okay. She's been sent uh, off. No lead jammer. That means one minute, 33 seconds on this clock. Got to wind out. Okay, mate. All you need to do is basically make 90 points yeah. in this. 90, no, 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 no. 99 in this, in this, in this one minute, 22 seconds. There you go. Go on, Adelaide. Ready, steady, go. Ready, steady, spaghetti. No, it's not working. Okay, but she, you know, she's got a few. There's a man. <laughs> <laughs> Just got to take it one point at a time. Yeah, well, one it's the only way you can do it. Look, regardless of the points on this board, both these two teams, absolute champions to have made it this far. Into the uh, the bronze final. Exactly. Who have we got coming up in the uh, in the main final, in the grand uh, final? Uh, I think it's my home state team, which is VRDL and um, Sun State. Sun State. Vicious, vicious, vicious players. They're this all is fantastic. This is gonna, that's gonna be an intense, intense yeah. bout. I'd be interested to see how many of the national Australian team are on. Oh, here we go. Bone shaker. Couldn't help herself. Time to make her way to the penalty box. She's missing it. No pack situation called. And Brady snaps his through. 19, 18 seconds. Apparently we've uh, got 28 seconds left. <laughs> 28 minutes left. In oh, the, yeah, we've got heaps of time. A little bit of uh, trouble with the uh, clock. They weren't joking about a whole new game in here. <laughs> okay, and we've lost. There we go. We've lost. Uh, uh, no one. And three, two, one. The winner of the 2012 TGSS bronze medal goes to North Brisbane Rollers. Adelaide, fantastic effort here today. I think Listen. we can call the uh, the North Brisbane Rollers the comeback queen. Oh, definitely. Miss Informed, it's been an absolute pleasure commentating with you. Chief Intent, indeed. And uh, please make sure that you tune into Channel One for some interviews and uh, make sure that you check out this grand final. It's oh. going to be a screamer. You don't want to miss it. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, take care. See you soon. All right, one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for the Northern Brisbane Rollers!